Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we get a chance to look at the grill gun from a company called Grill Blazer, okay? This is kind of a uh, glorified uh, pyromaniac's uh, arson lover toy uh, that you can use to do several things like light your coals, light your fire pits, so uh, weed burn. So this thing here uh, runs off of propane. It... um. It can accommodate the four inch bottle like you see here or the narrow three inch bottle that uh, can attach to it also, okay? It also, uh, you can also get a uh, kit where you can uh, take this hose, attach it to the grill gun, and then attach this to a full size propane tank and then you'll have a fire for hours, okay? This depends on what you want to burn up, okay? I mean, uh, let's be honest. Uh, all of us pit masters or smoke masters or whatever you want to call yourself, barbecue enthusiasts and stuff, we all have a little pyromaniac in us, okay? That's why we like to play around with fire, all right? So this thing here has uh, 40,000 BTUs, okay? It has several safety features, okay? So let's go over those right now. All right, guys, so the part you're looking at now is called the fire bell. It's the torch head where the fuel is ignited and turns into a flame. The small white piece behind the fire bell is called the spark electrode. This initiates the spark that ignites the fuel for the fire bell. The long dual tube you're looking at here is called the fuel barrel. It moves the fuel and the air from the gas valve to the fire bell. The red knob sitting on top of the stock of the gun is called the gas valve. It's a variable fuel flow valve that lets you adjust the amount of propane being sent to the fire bell. The grill gun has three trigger features. The first one is the finger trigger. This trigger mechanism is to light the grill gun. The second one is the handle trigger. It controls the bypass valve, which causes fuel to flow into the fire bell, even if the gas valve is turned off. And finally, there is the handle trigger lock, which prevents the unintentional pulling of the handle trick. Okay, guys, so that's the grill gun in a nutshell. Hey, nothing else to say. Let's go burn some stuff up. All right, guys, so you saw uh, just a few examples of what you can use the grill gun for. We use it to light some charcoal. We lit our uh, fire pit with it, and we even did some weed burning with it. So whatever you got to uh, throw a lot of fire at, then I think the grill gun would probably uh, suit your needs, okay? Um, the small tanks that are on here will probably only give you about 8 to 10 two-minute bursts before they go empty. So if you're going to get one, it may be wise to go ahead and get the hose that goes to the, to the larger propane tanks for that attachment, okay? Uh, they make two guns. This is the larger gun. I think it's like 21 and a half inches, okay? 
and then they make a smaller 14 and a half inch gun that is specifically designed for sous vide they both do exactly the same thing so check out their website okay um the only thing that we have left to do with this now you can sear with this gun also but the shorter sous vide gun makes it easier you don't have that long barrel to deal with okay so we're going to do a uh, smoked steak on the uh, Rectech pellet and then we're going to come back and we're going to sear it with the grill gun and we're going to see just what kind of sear we can get on it okay so hang around and we're going to go ahead and do that test right quick all right so here's our steak that we pulled off of the smoker at 126 degrees we're going to pat some of the excess liquid off of it All right, and let's put some fire to it. put a hell of a sear on it real quick. Let's turn it over and hit the other side. Now that put a much better sear on that steak than that small chef torch that I have. Nice sear on both sides of the steak. All right, that's about it. All right guys, so that's about it for the grill gun. As you can see, if you got it to burn, the grill gun will burn it. Um, like I said, it come, they have two different guns. The uh, big one here, the grill gun, and then they got the sous vide gun, okay? Uh, if you're interested in purchasing one, hey, check out uh, the website www.grillblazer.com. Uh, they have a sale going on right now, I believe. So you can buy just the gun, and all the guns come with the stand. Uh, or you can buy the kit, which comes with that extra tube that I showed you guys earlier where you can connect to a full-size propane tank, okay? Uh, this thing here will probably be real useful in lighting my coals from now on, okay? So... Well, that's about it. Thanks for joining us today. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this blazed up steak. And it is definitely medium rare. And I'm going to enjoy my beer and finish out the day. So, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there or a grill gun blazing flame all over the place, okay? Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Mm. And this thing put a hell of a crust on this steak. Fantastic. Much better than that little chef torch that I use, okay? Hey, see you guys in the next video. Mm. And that's good. Whew.